Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit unusual from my usual YouTube videos and show you some uh, toys I used to play with when I was a kid. And uh, some of them are pretty old, some of them not so old. I think I got this one, I think, at a uh, flea market. I'm trying to think of the word. This is, this is a 1975 Hot Wheel. And it's not a red line tire, but it's, you know, it's cor obviously a Corvette. Uh, I got it. But my prized possession, as far as I'm concerned, and I've never seen another one like it, is this Monkey Mobile. Back in 66, I think, 67, 66, the monkeys had their own TV show. And they had a, quite a few songs that were hits for them. This one is made by Husky, and it's made in Great Britain, the Monkey Mobile. And this is a, I think this is a 67 GTO, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, as you can see, you can see all the monkeys from the TV show in there. And uh, of course, two of them have passed away, unfortunately. I used to like their songs, but uh, anyway, I got this, and I, it's pretty much my prized possession as far as, uh, you know, Hot Wheels, you know, Matchbox top cars. As I said, this one is a Husky, and that, that's my, that's my prized possession car uh, of the ones I have. Got this little Jeep, and uh, this is a Matchbox series, uh, made in England by. Les Lesney, number 72, Jeep. I remember why I wanted this. I remember exactly why I wanted this because back in about in the mid-60s or so, give or take a couple, two or three years, there was a show with Glenn Ford in it. And it was called, I could be wrong on this, but I think it was called Cades County or Something something along those lines. But it had Glenn Ford in it. And he drove a Jeep like this. And also around that same time, there was a show called Rat Patrol. And I, I was wanting a Jeep to play with when I was a kid. I was probably 8, 9, 10, something. Anyway, that's why I got the Jeep. I remember exactly why I got it. But it's it's still in pretty good shape. I've just kept it put up. Uh, I've got the tracks to this bulldozer, and there's the top for it, I think. Uh, this is a matchbox as well, uh, made in England. 19, I want to say 1960, but it's not, it's not that old. I, I didn't get it in 1960. I think that's the lid for it, but I, the cab cover for it, I, I, but I'm not for sure, but I got it and showed you. Uh, got this crane, boom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a, this is a matchbox, Dodge, Dodge crane truck. I hope you can see that. I've had this for a long time. You know, it moves and stuff like that. And it says Dodge in the front. That's an old one. I, or, well, I, I've had it for a long time, I'll say. I always like this. This is a red line, Hot Wheels. And I always like the look of that. Uh, Hot Wheels, I'm trying to see, is the same time you are. I'm trying to maneuver it where I, Paddy Wagon, 1969. So, I've had this for a long time, obviously. Uh, this little Mustang here, I don't. I don't know too much about it. 1983. Not sure how I acquired that. But anyway, I did. These are HO cars from AFX race car sets. These are drag car things. Let's see what this... You know, I don't even know what that is or what it's from. It's a Mattel Hot Wheels. But it's, it's for a drag car. I got two of them. And uh, this is from a... H.O. car as well, and I thought it'd be kind of neat to make it a gasser type car, but eh. 
Anyway, uh, I've got a 55 Chevy I've had for a long time. I think I glued this motor on here. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it looks like something I would do as a kid. I'm looking back and I'm seeing all this painting I've done. Try to make it look like chrome. It's a pretty sloppy job. But, you know, I was just a kid. I had a little paintbrush and some silver paint. And I would do stuff like that. And I did. I was just a little bitty kid, so I, you know, would try to dress them up. But as you can see, my hand is not real steady. <laughs> not steady at all. So, anyway, I was trying to brighten up where it should be chrome. I'm pretty sure I put that motor on top because that's, that's something I would do. I don't know where. I guess it got broke over the course of time. But it's a HO car. This one is too, this 57 Chevy Nomad. I used to change wheels, change motors, everything in these top cars. And uh, I still got a few of them around. But uh, I would do such as that. And this kind of goes right along with it. Uh, I'm trying to show you. Anyway, this goes along with it. I'd change bodies. You know, if you're a kid, uh, stuff like that's pretty entertaining, and it took, uh, it would keep me occupied for several hours, you know, get out of everybody's way there at my home, you know, get out of the way from pestering my brother or sister or something like that, or they would play along with me most of the time. We always had a good time playing with cars and HO tracks and stuff like that. So it was a lot of fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd show this to you. I think I've done a video like this before, but it's been several years ago. But just wanted to show you what I ha still have in my possession. And as I said, this is my prized possession as far as I'm concerned. And young people probably don't know who the monkeys are or, or really care. But actually, they were pretty popular back in the day. Pretty popular. So... This is my prized possession as far as I'm concerned. And I, I, as I said, I've never seen another one like it. So anyway, if you found this kind of stuff kind of entertaining, uh, you know, please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know that you like for me to do something occasionally a little bit different. I try to be diverse, but some, some of the things I do take off, some of them don't. So anyway, leave me a comment. Subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you like this kind of stuff or not. And uh, also, I'm on uh, Instagram, Primer is Best, all one word, and Facebook. So, I would appreciate it if you would look me up on, on that as well. And uh, I hope y'all's having a great day. I am. It's a really good day, but I got to tell you, it's cold. It's like 27 outside, and I... It's just too dang cold to be going outside very much. So I hope y'all's having a great day and staying warm. I'm staying warm. And it's good to hear from each and every one of you that comments. I sure do appreciate it. I just do this kind of stuff for the heck of it. As I've said, I don't get paid for any of this. So if you like this kind of stuff, please drop me a comment and share all these videos that I make with your friends and one that you find entertaining. I'm looking to get more subscribers, so really do appreciate it. Hope y'all's having a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.